Yo, bloody axe here guys and welcome back to yet another episode of Kenyan Gaming Setups. Again, I'm not a tech reviewer so keep your negative comments away from the comment section because I'm here to showcase what you guys are rocking. Now I am around my home area which is kind of convenient uh, when I just wish most of you lived around because the amount of money I spent uh, to getting to like some of the places you guys live is absurd at times. So make sure you like and subscribe so that at least I can see a return on investment. But uh, today I'm here to showcase uh, Mr. Mwadimi's setup. Uh, this is the first time we are meeting. We used to game with him Apex. I used to... Alkwa na throw. Ame kata alkwa na throw, but he used to throw. The earlier days of Apex, a lot of people used to throw. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, man, uh, let's go check his setup out. So yeah guys, as you can see, we are inside the house and uh, as you can see, once we take a look at the setup here, um, or the first feeling that I got when I got into this space is it feels warm and welcoming. Like I really like how warm and cozy the setup feels. It's clean, as you can see, excellent cable management. We have a second entry for the table lamp there. I like it by the way, very nice table lamp, um, very minimalistic, uh, this is like a case that is in between being small and being big but overall fantastic fantastic feeling that you're going to get um, in this um, setup space um, so yeah let's um, head on over to what he is rocking here for the PC case he's choosing to go with the NZXT H210 um, this is a medium sized case not a full ITX case and not a mini ITX case as you can see it also has tempered glass which allows you to see on the inside that is of course assuming your pc looks good on the inside anyway inside the case we have an amd ryzen 5 3600 uh, processor which is a 6 core 12 thread processor again these six cores from amd seem to be dominating the market cooling the cpu we have a noctua u125 chromax edition cooler for the RAM there, he's choosing to go with a 16 gigabyte kit from T-Force, uh, which is the T-Force Delta. Again, clocked at uh, that 600 megahertz. It also seems to be a popular RAM kit. For the GPU there, he's choosing to go with the AMD RX 6600 XT GPU. This is the Red Devil Edition. As you can see, it has very glowy fins at the end of the GPU there. Looks really nice. For the memory there, he's using to go with uh, two pairs of SSD, one being a Sabrent Rocket 256 gig NVMe, and the other one being a Samsung SATA 126 gig SSD. This is paired up with a one terabyte Western Digital Blue hard drive. All of this is mounted on an ASRock B450i Fatality ITX motherboard. Powering the whole unit, we have a Cooler Master 650 watt power supply. So yeah, I do like um, the form factor of this case. It's really nice. Uh, doesn't eat up so much space. I like how it looks. I generally, um, not I generally, but this is a mid-tier PC. Heading over to the monitor there, we have yet another entry. This monitor seems to be dominating the Kenyan gaming space, but this is the AOC. 24G2 144Hz 1080p monitor. It is mounted on its own original mount, so yeah. For the keyboard there, he's choosing to go with the Falcon Z77 10 keyless blue switch keyboard. The keyboard is paired up with a Logitech G102 Prodigy mouse. And uh, for the mouse pad, this is just a generic mouse pad. For his sound, he's choosing to listen. Uh, uh, he's choosing to listen in with uh, the KZDQ6 earphones. They're really good. I've um, I tested them when I was at Romano's place, so go get them. Uh, for the microphone, he's choosing to use the microphone that comes with his webcam, which is the Logitech C270 webcam. Again, I, did, I do believe Peaches has the same exact webcam and I do believe this one comes from Andy Shuffle as well. 
but uh, yeah heading over to the chair there we have a lounge chair by Thailand Carpet Center really cozy by the way um, I like it for the ISP he's using the fiber connect 10 Mbps package fiber connect is a uh, third-party ISP from uh, within his area which is uh, I think around Ruru. Uh, not I think but he's around Ruru. I don't keep saying I think <laughs> So yeah, this is a third party. When I say third party, I, I, I generally mean um, other than Zuku, Liquid, Jami Telcom, Safaricom. Yeah, other than those ones, most of the others tend to be that party. But the total estimate for everything is uh, 185,000. So that is minus the chair. That is what he's indicated here. Um, so yeah, man, what do you use this setup for? um just it's basically purely a gaming setup i built it to play games on emulate nintendo games uh taken down to your story but <laughs> nintendo doesn't nintendo doesn't joke around uh, any uh like you see it's not like that they know where you live you're in kenya man <laughs> even if they wanted to <laughs> so, so anyway uh games emulate games play games that's basically it okay so so i think in a girlfriend that me could works now but generally it's just gaming purely gaming Naskia hii msimu ya baridi ni si tunaumia. But uh, yeah, you did you assemble everything ama you bought um, everything at once? Is there anything you will ship ama you assemble everything? Okay, so yeah, kama kawaida and shuffle. Um, I bought parts, most of the parts I bought from him. Um, and then I assembled them myself. Um, uh, the GPU I got this year, I bought it from not from shuffle uh, there was a guy who was selling it at a decent price considering the whole gpu thing but generally the entire pc is imported parts are imported from by by shuffle that's really good piece yeah so and the shuffle man eh? hey and the and you can see it but uh, yeah so what do you like about the, this setup um I wanted something simple yeah, yeah, it a fit in kwa sito because I didn't want clutter in the sitting room and I needed it to fit in with the rest of the furniture so at the seat for example if I'm on the PC it's near the PC when it's not it's part of the sitting room furniture so I like the fact that it's slightly multifunction and color scheme yake ilingiliana the rest of the house that's what I love the most oh, okay obviously na ku game at 144 hertz <laughs> so yeah this is that yeah, yeah, yeah. The, it, uh, the, everything feels warm in the space, so I like the aesthetic of the of the room. Um, is there anything you're planning to change uh, on this setup? Okay, so maybe you may notice I really have a thing with cables. So I think moving on to wireless peripherals is something on the top of my list. And then maybe a monitor arm one that sticks on the wall so that there's nothing hanging under the monitor is something i really wanted to do and maybe i was thinking of getting a case with better airflow later on but generally for now i'm okay with it all right uh your internet so uh, what's your internet experience at the moment okay now to me uh fiber connect uh safcom i think they're happy with the number of customers they have they were not interested in extending had you cool. uh, you're like the wait they but then they do that they say that they're out of capacity so yeah well, but fiber connect um initially could go issues but they are way better than zoku which i mean guys anyway so the 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 consistency is as good as surf the voltage is kidogo but it doesn't go more than 20 minutes so uh, they're okay man you take what you have so yeah guys i uh, hope you enjoyed this episode again make sure you like and subscribe and share these episodes with people who are interested in pcs people who are not interested in pcs again they also i found that they also tend to be interested and uh yeah make sure you join my discord my instagram uh, hit me up on instagram and yeah hit me up by the i have no problem because modi may hit me up outside actually i never knew he had a setup i thought he was on console all that <laughs> i don't know wow. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to cut.